Hey everybody. Thank you for joining the talk, Augmented Reality Today. My name is Orion Barr, and here's a talk I gave at the Winter Augmented Reality Meeting in Graz University, Austria, this February. Apple's Alex is voicing me because I sound like Borad. Marcel Proust, a French novelist, said in the 1920s, The voyage of discovery is not in seeking new landscapes, but in having new eyes. This is what augmented reality is all about. Having new eyes, literally. Let us look at augmented reality in new eyes. Here's the question, how to get the next generation hooked on augmented reality. You know what? Let's simplify it. Hooked on reality today. To answer this, we have to take a step back and consider the vision that led to this question. In 10 to 15 ye, come on, be bold. In 10 years, everyone will use AR to interact with the world in a more meaningful way. In 10 years, that would be 2019, a year that has been depicted in pop culture as Blade Runner, The Island, Crisis, and Superstruct the Game, Dystopias Galore, which can only be avoided if everyone uses AR to interact with the world in a more meaningful way. Get the vision? But how do you fulfill this vision? We'll have to collectively nurture a healthy industry, unlike virtual reality, which was hyped in the early 90s and then crashed real hard. We want to nurture a healthy industry through collaboration and focus on the user. The only way to drive adoption of such a disruptive technology. And we have to move soon. How soon? Pronto. ASAP. That's the mission. How did I come up with this vision and mission? I guess I have to tell where I am coming from. This is me. I am from Manhattan. Downtown Manhattan. One block from Ground Zero. This is my house. Here is my balcony. And this is the view from my balcony. I can see the Hudson from my house, which is useful. Especially when planes land on it. Before 9-11, this was my view. This is after. This was my view. This is after. Augmented world. I went to this university. Double majored in computer science and cinema, which at the time was pretty radical. I joined the startup as employee number six developed one of the first enterprise portals which became the number one in the market. It was acquired by SAP. I became the senior vice president for SAP platform, which grew from a mere concept to a billion dollar business for SAP. It was fun. In 2007, I left to pursue my passion. Started a blog about augmented reality and learned a lot from many smart people. Started a company for augmented reality and learned from more smart people. Just like musicians use notes and instruments to compose music, and painters use colors and brush strokes to compose paintings, we use real and virtual elements to compose reality experiences. That's me, and that's the origin of the vision and mission. Which brings us back to the main question, how to get the next generation hooked on reality today. The next generation what next generation? It's Wikipedia time. In 46 to 64, the baby boomer generation was born. They gave us counterculture. In 65 to 79, Generation X was born. They gave us the 80s and the 90s. In 1980 to 2000 came Generation Y, the largest generation ever, a.k.a. the millennial generation. They gave us the Second Depression. 2001 to the present is yet an unnamed generation. Some call it Generation Z. Some call it Generation V for virtual. Generation C for community. Content. Cell phone. Generation, how do you call that? Call them what you want. They are the next generation. They are 20 million strong in the U.S. alone. They're very young. 
very consumers, and digital natives. Where can you find these digital natives? Mostly in front of a screen, watching TV, reality TV, fantasy TV, hanging out online, ganging up online. Ah, probably not here, playing on a PC, evolving on a PC, competing on consoles, sharing on consoles. But here, not enough. There. Always. In front of a screen. Leaning backward, leaning forward. Sitting, in front of a screen. Lost. Parents think so. They tell their kids, you can go online honey, but don't stay too long. What they really want to say is, get off the screen. Get out and play, that's parents. They hate it. Fortunately for them, there's the National Institutes of Health. On Cyber Monday last year, the kickoff of the holiday online shopping season, the NIH issued a report, a mega report, a study of 173 previous reports saying kids spend too much time in front of the screen where they watch TV, go online, the PC, or even in the living room. The NIH claims it's a hazard to their health. They say people will look like human blobs in wall -E. So, to summarize the NIH research, if kids stay in their room for too long in front of the screen with no movement they'll end up fat consume too much tobacco and alcohol. They'll fail in school and show excessive sexual behavior. I guess that means it's bad for children. That's the NIH. The TV industry is mostly mute about this, but Anthony Zucker, the creator of CSI, says, Content from TV should cross over to other types of media such as cell phones. That's what TV says. Here's what the video game industry's doing about it. Dance Dance Revolution and the Wii got some kids off the couch. Guitar Hero had a similar effect, mostly, Sony got them moving with the iToy camera. And mobile games can now be played anywhere, but they're still glued to the screen. Will Wright, the creator of SimCity, The Sims, and Spore, and my personal idol, says, Games should increase our awareness to the environment, rather than distract us from it. So there you have it. Parents want kids off the screen. NIH says we'll look like this if they don't. CSI says content should cross over. And even Will Wright says kids should interact more with the environment. Case closed? Well, don't forget there. Digital natives. They can't change. They mustn't change. Unless, of course, it's change they can believe in. Alan Kay, one of the inventors of object-oriented programming and Windows GUI, is known for his quote, Technology is everything that was invented before you were born. They were born into digital. Unlike Rupert, he calls himself a digital immigrant. In fact, in this room, we are all digital immigrants, but they are eager and fast. They're energetic. They're social. They have no fear of new experiences. In 10 years, that's 2019, Digital natives will rule the world. So to full LL the vision. In 10 years, everyone uses AR to interact with the world in a more meaningful way. We should focus on them and make sure it's done their way. Cause they're critics and won't settle for just anything you throw at them. That's digital natives. So how to get digital natives hooked on reality today? How do you get them hooked? You find a hook. Yeah. That will work. Would they go or this? I don't think so. That looks awesome, but so far, only tested on rabbits. This is neat, but only tested in Photoshop. More on gamesonfresco.com.